Hi everyone, so this is the using logs as a model non-linear data. It uh, used to be on further maths, um, but it's a really, really useful topic. And the idea is that you start off with a curve and we use logs to make it into a straight line. We find the gradient and the intercept, that's a dodgy looking gradient, and that allows us to go back to the original curve and find unknowns that we didn't know. So constants that we find. So we use it to take a curve, make it into a straight line to find the unknowns. We're doing about, it's supposed to be two lessons, so we'll see how we're doing with this. So this one says, uh, got linear. So we start off with uh, temperature T in degrees Celsius and time in seconds. Um, so this one's quite straightforward for us, really. We can plot it, it shows you how to plot it there in your calculator. It's pretty much a straight line, so we're going to look at that form. So my going up is t, my going across is little t, and I can get my gradient and my intercept. Now if I, like you could, I'm pretty, mine's pretty rubbish for putting a line on, but we'll give it a go, see if I can put a line in here. Uh, it's kind of bad, doesn't it? It's not too bad. Not too bad. I'll have to change that pen now, won't I? Yeah, that's why it's good. Right then, so I'm going to work out the gradient. I'm going to use the extreme points. So little t is across, big t is going up. So a change going up is then two. So my gradient. It's going to be 36.3 minus 16.3 over the change going across, which is 120 take 20. Now that should give us a gradient of 0.2. So I know that capital T is 0.2 little t plus c. Right, now then. I know, because it's on a pretty much a straight line, I know that the points lie on the curve. I can actually do a little cheat with this. I can put it in the calculator and do it, but it won't do it now. So I'm going to choose a point to find C. So if I use 20,16.3, which is the first point, so I've got 16.3 is 0.2 lots of 20 plus C. Take the 10 away, gives me, sorry, uh, that's one thing. Take 4 away, gives me 12.3. So my equation is a temperature is 0.2 times by the time plus 12.3. So that's that one done. That's all for the next page. So then it says, um, what if it's not linear? What if it's a curve? Now, if you notice here, x is across and y is up. So x and y are your variables. So k and b are the constants, and this is what we're going to find. So we're going to find these constants by making the curve into a straight line. So it says, so if you plot it, we've got like a, a curve here. You can see this curve going up there, which would be your x against y, whatever that represents. So we believe that it's that relationship. Right, so what I need to do is make it into a straight line. So this is called linear reduction. I make it into a straight line. So they'll take logs of both sides. So log y is log of k b to the power of x. Then I'm going to split it. So it's log k plus log b to the power x. And then I'm going to put the power down for y is log k plus x times by log b. Now remember what we're doing. x was going across and y was going up. If you look, x is still the same. That's still going across. But y has been transformed into log y. Now, if I'm making it into a straight line, the value multiplying by the across bit 
must be the gradient, and the other bit must be the y-intercept. So let's fill that in below. So y becomes log y. The gradient is log b. x stays the same. And my intercept is log k. So I've taken a curve, which is x and y. There's my dodgy looking curve. And I'm going to transform it into x going across with log of my y value going up, and that should create a straight line, of which I can work out the gradient. Oh, that's not the gradient, that's the intercept. But the intercept there, which is log k, and the gradient, which is log b. So the value of the intercept is log k, the value of the gradient is log b. And I just do 10 to the power of those values to get my k and my b out. Well, that's on the next page. So let's have a look at the next page, keeping an eye on my, my working. Uh, so we want to work out log y to go on the y-axis. So log y. Right, so just quick nip back to that previous page. It's 6.19.53. Remember that, 6.19.53. So that's log of 6. I've forgotten the number already. Log of 19. That's going to be log of 53. So it's got nothing to do with the x value. It's log of the y value that we said before. So I've transformed the y into log y. That'd be log 161. And that'd be log of 484. So the values in the completed path, I think that has. 0 0.778, 1 1.278, 1.724, 2.207, and 2.685. Right, so I'm going to plot them and draw a straight line. Can you do that? I'm just going to pause it while I plot it. Right, so I plotted it. It's a bit rough at the moment because, you know, the graph paper isn't amazing. Uh, but I've plotted my line and done so it says calculate the gradient, and we're going to set that to log b, and then solve it. So remember what we do, we do the extremes. So my gradient is going to be 2.685 minus 0.778 over 5 minus 1. So that gives me, for the gradient, um, 0.48. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to pause it and be more accurate. Oops. Hang on. I'm having a right now, my nightmare with the calculator. It's just run out of batteries. Uh, so, do you know what? I'm just going to go with what they've got. So, you get a gradient of 0.48. If that's exactly working on the values, then that's wonderful. But I try to be more accurate. Anyway, from our equation that we had on the previous page, we said that the gradient was log b. So what I'm saying is that log b is equal to 0 0.48. So to get rid of b, I want to do 10 to the power of. So b is roughly 3.0263. You kind of want better answers and then round them up, though. So really, we want to be more accurate, I guess. But I just haven't... Um, because I'm rushing to do this, and everything's kind of going wrong with doing it, um, my calculator's just run out of batteries. I haven't got time uh, in the time I've got to do it to actually do it. So that gives me a B value right then. So now I've got an equation which is uh, log y is x times by 0 0.48. plus log k. There. So that's following that equation before that we had for the straight line. So if I choose a, a coordinate point, so if I go with 1 and 0 0.778, I'm just realising we're going to run out of time as well. 